Hey there and welcome back to our small talk. Today we will discuss how to approach pelvic fractures and how to classify them according to the Young and Berger's classification system on the x-rays. First of all, I have five major points that I need to keep in mind in order for me not to miss any fractures on the x-rays. Number one, I'll go for the symphysial ligaments, then I'll go for the pubic rami, and then go for the sacroiliac joint and the sacrum, and to see if there is any disruption in the sacroiliac joint or any sacral fractures present. Then I'll go to the iliac wing, and finally I'll go for the hemipelvis to see if there is any kind of displacement of the hemipelvis. Now I start my approach with the symphysial ligaments or symphysial diastasis. If there is disruption of the symphysial ligaments, that might be an APC fracture or even a, a vertical chair. And uh, if it's less than 2.5, the diastasis is less than 2.5 centimeter, that will be an APC1. If the diastasis is more than 2.5 centimeter, that might be an APC2 or an APC3 or a VS. So I take a look at the sacroiliac joint right away. If the sacroiliac joint has an anterior disruption, that's an APC2. If there is a complete disruption, that's an APC3. And if there is a vertical displacement, that's a VS. Now, if the symphysial ligaments are not disrupted, I'll go for the pubic rami to check if, if there is any kind of fracture. Now, if there is a vertical fracture, that might be an APC fracture or a vertical chair. If it's a transverse fracture or an oblique fracture, that might be an LC fracture. So, I go directly to the sacroiliac joint. If the sacroiliac joint is not disrupted, that means that it might be an LC1 or an LC2. If it's disrupted on the contralateral side, that's an LC3 for sure. Now, in order for us to differentiate between LC1 and LC2, I take a look at the iliac wing. If there is a fracture in the iliac wing, that's an LC2. If there is no fracture of the iliac wing, that might be an LC1. Now, in order for us to confirm that it's an LC2 or an LC3, we take a look at the hemipelvis. If there is a displacement of the hemipelvis medial, that's an LC2. If there is an epsilateral medial and a contralateral lateral of displacement, that's an LC3.